In today's video, we're going to be looking at quite a scary situation. In the first clip, it's less of a risk because of the speed of the traffic on this motorway, but the second clip's totally different. The vehicle that we're going to be watching is this next one that passes my viewer in lane 2. Nothing untoward at the moment, but we're going to be watching them closely. That's now a little area for concern. They might be on the phone, they might be doing anything. So when they move back to lane one, my viewer does the correct thing and gives them a little more space. No problems. But over the next couple of minutes, they continue to be weaving all over the road. We usually see vehicles like this on our roads when people are using a mobile phone, but it's not the case in this situation. My viewer correctly decides to call the emergency services. Hello, James, I'm Hi, I'd like to speak to the police, please. Please, thank you. Hi, um, I'm on the M6 southbound, uh, just going past, uh, well, I'm near Broughton. Um, there's a Volkswagen kind of transport van, uh, grey, and it's weaving in and out the lanes quite a lot. Um, I mean, at the moment, look at this, a bit of traffic, so it's not too bad, but I'm not sure whether the driver's tired or drunk. Are you going north or south? Southbound. South? Yeah. And that's fine. So you just near, near, you just got past Broughton, have you? Just coming up to Broughton. Just coming up to Broughton, yeah. that's fine. And are you behind him? I'm directly behind him, yeah. Right, that's fine. Now watch, the driver doesn't move up. Currently, Are you going southbound? Yeah, currently he's stopped, the traffic's moving in front of him, but... He's stopped? Yeah, he's completely stopped. On the hard shoulder? Not, not on the hard shoulder, sorry, just in the, uh, on the inside lane. The traffic's moving in front is of him, it, but... Is it a complete stand? Oh. Do your traffic stops or everything? The, the he traffic, stopped. The traffic's moving in front, but he's completely stopped. Right. How fast is traffic moving in front? Um, probably thirty mile an hour now. Right. So is it just, there's like this like slow moving traffic, but he's not moving anywhere. Yeah, he's starting to speed up now on the on the other lanes. Right. And is he still not moving? Not moving now. Are you aware of the red flag? Yes. Yeah. My viewer continues to wait and talk to the emergency services for the next minute. Traffic speed is starting to build and people are getting more impatient. And then they start to do things in a dangerous manner. Uh, just, uh, traffic, traffic still passing about 30 miles an hour. Uh, it's going a bit faster now. Um, I'm not really sure what to do, to be honest, because this car's now passing on the hard shoulder as well. Right, okay, where are you? Um, I'm directly behind him still. There's a right. cube you, you'll just, You just have to get... Oh, there's a cube, there's a cube behind him? Yeah. Right. It's good to hear that there's a queue of traffic behind my viewer. If not, they would have been a sitting oh. duck in this situation. Try and pull out. Yeah, you just get past, yeah. Yeah, just slow down a little bit. But the emergency services are happy with my viewer continuing. Just going into the middle right now. I'll just try and get a good view. He's asleep or incapacitated. Right. His head's not, not in full. I hope the guy in a Volkswagen Transporter was okay. This clip, although very similar, is also very different. We're watching the vehicle that comes past my viewer now, the blue Toyota. The clip moves on only about 45 seconds, and then up in the distance we can see brake lights starting to come on. It's that same driver, and they've stopped in lane 1. They've also nearly just got taken out by the car that was following. My viewer was able to negotiate round them, and I don't think that there was enough time to slow down and actually protect them by stopping behind in my viewer's lorry. But that car's definitely a sitting duck. All you can do now in this situation is literally ring the emergency services. Let them know the problem as soon as you can. Don't forget, you don't have to use a hands-free device in this scenario, but please make sure you do this with the utmost care. 
maybe even stop on a hard shoulder first. This is an emergency at the end of the day. Keep safe everyone, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.